channel. I hope everybody is doing well today. If you're new and you like this content, give it a like and subscribe. And if you're not, thank you so much for checking back in with me again this week. So today we have another requested review video and I'm very excited to get into it. We're going to be talking about the Little Rogue 25. So um, this is the 25. It comes in a 30 as well. That's much larger. So it's about uh, this big and it goes up about till here. I found it too big for me um, because I am a very petite person and the rule of thumb that I always give my clients is that if you're on the smaller side, I urge you to get a smaller bag uh, so that the bag doesn't look like it can, you know, swallow you whole and it's proportionate and it's just going to be more comfortable for you. If you're on the taller side, then I'm very jealous because you can pull off a small and large bag, so you're very lucky. Uh, but like I said, I'm very tiny, so I opted for the smaller version. Um, now, although it looks small, it actually holds a lot, and we're going to get into all those details in just a second, um, but let's talk about the exterior a bit. So we'll start with the color. Uh, this is called Sky Blue. My favorite color is blue, so I, you know, it's blue all the way for me, so that's why I got this color. Um, and a little story for some of you guys who don't know, but... Coach has an option called Made to Order Rogue, and I actually think everyone should go and try it if you guys have the time. It's super fun because you get to design your entire bag from scratch, like the type of leather, the inside, the handle color, the metal color, everything, and it's the coolest thing ever, and then they'll make it for you and ship it to you. So it's really great, and one day I was working and I was really bored, so I made myself a Made to Order Rogue. And I actually built this exact bag. Little did I know, within the month, Coach released it. And I was like, wait a minute. This is the bag I designed a month ago. I need to buy it. So that's why I bought it. Okay, that's the end of my story. Uh, sorry if you didn't care. <laughs> but yeah, let's talk about the exterior. So you'll notice the hang tag. Um, this is the 1941 hang tag. So this is a 1941 piece. This is the giveaway as well as the genuine glove tan leather written right there as well. You also notice this little guy. Uh, so this is actually called like a key holder. This is something that is almost purely for decoration. If you open it up, you'll notice there's a key ring in there, but I don't think anyone really uses it. I personally only use it for decoration. The reason that uh, they added it onto the 1941 collection is because they wanted to pay tribute to Coach's history and all the um, like vintage bags. A lot of the bags back then had a key pocket that looked a lot like this. And although we don't need these for keychains anymore, Coach thought it would be really kind of intricate if we added it. So I absolutely love it. I know some people don't like all this stuff hanging on their bag so that you can opt to remove it, but I thought that this was a really nice way to pay kind of tribute to the like bag culture in the 1950s, 60s. So I kept it. Also, you'll notice that there are little feet at the bottom. That's what we call these little stands right here. Uh, and they're life-changing, okay? I think this is one of the only bags that I own with feet. Um, and the reason why I love them so much is because it protects the bottom of your bag. A lot of women come in and they have like worn in um, spots like right here, right here. It's all scratched on the bottom. But with feet, that's never going to happen because all the pressure is right here. Okay, so if you put this down, you go like this, you're not rubbing the leather, right? So that's why I absolutely love the feet. It's a great way to protect the bottom and I think every bag needs it. If it looks cute, of course. <laughs> so that's pretty much the exterior. Let's talk a little bit about the handles. Uh, so what makes this bag really special, in fact, I don't think a lot of other bags do this, but it actually comes with three different ways to wear this bag. So I'll show you the first way, right here. Two little handles. I love carrying my bags like this, or just on your arm like this. There's option one. Here is option two, so it comes with these two straps as well. Fantastic, you can wear it on your shoulder like this. I also love wearing it like this. Wait for it, so this is the cool part. You can also choose to unhook. Unhook. Hook together, and now you have a crossbody strap. I virtually never wear it like this because I don't really like to wear crossbodies, um, but this is such a good option for people who like versatility and who like to, you know, kind of switch up their look all the time. Um, I don't know a lot of bags who give you this option of having three different ways to wear it, so I thought this was really spectacular and is a great selling point for this bag. Next, since I'm talking about straps, I do want to mention, because somebody commented on my uh, like how to properly store your bags video, 
um, how to put the handles. So if you have this, I suggest you actually hold it up. You'll notice that it turns fairly easily. So you just want to turn it, put it down, and insert it into the side pockets. Okay? Same with this side. You're going to see it turns one way, flip down, and insert into the side. And as you can see, they sit very nicely on both sides, right there. And then for these two top handles, you just bloop, and that's it. They cross and they sit very nicely in the bag. Now, you can put this in a silk bag, or like me, I just leave it out uh, away from the sun. Okay, if you haven't watched my how-to video, please watch it. It's very important to keep your bags gorgeous. And you can just take it and insert it onto the shelf like this. So, this will protect your handles. Alright, so next, let's talk a bit about the inside. So as i just shown you, this is what the inside looks like. There's two side pockets that are on the slimmer side, and then one, in the po uh, one pocket in the middle that's much larger, and this is like very much the body of the bag. These two sides right here, it's actually suede, and I think that's great. I love that about this bag because a lot of um, the handbags that Coach sells these days, the inside is actually microfiber. So it's just a type of fabric. Suede, however, if you don't know what it is, is actually leather. Well, it's the inside of the leather. So there's no better way to say this, but it's like the inside of the cow, basically, instead of the outside. And you can tell by feeling it, it's a little more coarse than microfiber, but there's just something so fancy about suede that I just really love. We'll open up the middle, show you guys just what it looks like. So here you go. This is the largest, largest portion. Uh, everything in here, that's just a fabric, okay? So there's no suede in here. As you can see, there's a story patch, and it has a zipper right here. So for anything uh, important, like maybe receipts, you want to keep stored away. And on this side, there's a pocket with a button that you can open it. Oh, it's a tight button. Oh, oh my gosh. This is embarrassing. There we go that you can open and close. Uh, normally, if I'm using the bag, I actually leave this portion open and I like to put my phone here. It's kind of like its own little pocket. If you don't need it, of course, you can just button it close. Finally, um, a few last words that I want to mention is that I just, I honestly love this bag. Although they don't produce it um, kind of at all anymore, you'll notice that Coach only sells like a few models left. They used to have so many colors. If you want your own, if you really like mine, you can go and make it yourself on the made to order. Uh, if you guys want, I can actually link the URL down below just for you to check it out. It is super cool. Even if you don't have any intention on buying it, I do suggest you to try it. Um, because it's really fun and I don't know many stores that let you completely customize your own bag from scratch. Like, I think that's phenomenal and it's completely personalized. You have over a million choices. So, so the chances of you seeing someone on the street who has the exact same rogue as you is slim to none. There's nothing negative. I have absolutely nothing negative to say about this bag. I was a working adult, which I am not. I'm a student still in university. But if I was a working adult and I had a basic 9 to 5, I would, I would 100% wear this with me to work every single day because it's cu it's small enough for it still to be cute and it's large enough for me to fit everything that I need. When I did my internship last summer, this was the bag that I carried around with me everywhere. It's really large enough just to put everything in. Um, however, as I mentioned, they do have a larger size if you want a larger bag. I think that's all I have to say to you guys today. I know this wasn't such a long review because it's so simple and that's why I like this bag. There's no like hidden details or anything like too fancy that I have to get into and that's kind of why I like it. If you guys watched my other review on the Riley, you'll notice that they do a lot more details and that's why it was a runway piece and that's why it's more of a, you know, fashion bag. This to me is a simple bag that is perfect for its utility aspect. Although it's really cute, I mean, yes, it's so cute, but it's also useful and it fits a lot. So, um, you know, if you're looking for an everyday bag, once again, this is something that I would definitely suggest and it's cute. If you don't like this color, that's also okay. They make it in like so many different colors as you'll see on the URL post below. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Once again, if there's any other uh, bags you want me to review or shoes, let me know down below and I promise I will get to that. So. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys all next time.